Welcome back, Legends. I hope you're all awesome. We've got plenty of goodies to take a look at in the latest Axe FX3 firmware. So let's get straight into it. Before we explore any new stuff, the setup that I've got is a stereo pair of these deluxe reverb amp models over here, set identically except for the input that they're processing and the respective balance. I'm running them into a stereo cab. I have a bit of the JFET compressor and a bit of medium room reverb. I'll let you hear one of the parallel modes on this PRS Custom 24, which is going to be really kind of sparkly and bright, and then the neck humbucker, which sounds neck humbuckery. <laughs> That is the starting point. The first thing that I want to play around with are some of the new flanger effect type. So let's drop a flanger into this preset. And when you go to type, look at this, there's 31 flanger types in here now. And several of these are based on iconic flanger sounds. You can see like Cuda flange, you know, that's based on the heart barracuda sound. There's stuff like Hemis flange, Harmona flange, Spirit flange, Starship flanger. If you're kind of familiar with uses of flanging on guitar tracks, you're going to be familiar with these. I really like this uh, Hemis flange. So kind of the Rush Hemispheres sound. I'll do this clean and then we'll hear it with a dirty amp. <laughs> Awesome, awesome stuff. So if you're just kind of looking for, you know, some iconic flanger tones, they are right in there. I actually really like the, uh, just the ADA style flanger in here, which is this one uh, for kind of like a Pat Travis style tone, you know, this sort of thing. <laughs> It's amazing how much variation you can get out of the humble flanger block. Going back to the clean sound, I actually really, really like, and it's kind of no surprise to anyone who knows what I like, but this 80s rack flanger sounds great placed after the cab for a big sparkly clean. <laughs> The other thing that I love about this is that if you're somebody who's never really used a flanger in the real world and you just kind of want a good starting point, now you have so many great starting points in here. So the flanger block has got a bunch of love. Uh, there's some kind of weirder sounding ones in there as well, which I really, really enjoy. But another great flanger sound is actually living in the multi-tap delay block, and it is uh, this TC1210. So this is kind of emulating the chorus mode of that. You can turn the feedback up if you want a true flanger thing, but this, you just put it on a clean sound. It's like instant 80s. It's so good. <laughs> Now, 
I love that. There's also a block kind of loosely based on uh, the old like lexicon aerosol sound from the MPX-1. And that one I really like on Dirty Sounds. This is using the uh, Mark IV model in here. And this one sounds thick. <laughs> Awesome stuff. Using two multi-tap delay blocks is uh, obviously better than one. And a really, really awesome thing you can do is, uh, what I'm undertaking at the moment, I'm gonna connect two multi-tap delays in parallel, and we're gonna fire up these Holdsworth-inspired UD stomp settings. I believe these blocks were originally created by uh, Simeon Harris. Shout out to Simeon, go and visit his website if you want some amazing blocks on there. Such a great player, such a great sound designer and effects master. But let's go uh, AH swell short over here and AH swell long on the other one. We'll go back to the clean tone. I set the bypass mode on these to mute effects in. Uh, that is recommended if you're running in parallel and I've just got the mix up at 100%. I'm gonna do some volume swells with this and this sounds ridiculous. Ridiculously lush, it's so good. some other epic combos in this block as well. Let's go back to the Mark IV thing. I'm gonna to go to channel B on each of these blocks. Let's crank up the mix. And again, mute effects in for the bypass because we're running in parallel. Let's go for the PCM circular delay. Let's bring the input gain down to about 40%. And on channel B of the other multi-tap, let's use the PCM pan delay. Uh, that's circular on both of them. Uh, mix to 100%. Mute effects in. Let's bring the input gain down to a similar amount. If you like big greasy lead sounds, this is your ticket. <laughs> that is so, so good. Another multi-tap delay type that I've been enjoying. There's a lot of them. Uh, there's this space tape in here, which is, I'm guessing, kind of based on a Roland Space Echo emulation. So we'll chuck that one over there and then let's use, uh, where is it? The ambient quad tape. And I'm just gonna bring in this ambient quad tape quite low and bring up the space echo sound a little bit with the input gain and we get this. <laughs> It's lovely having that combination of really intense shorter delays with big sweeping diffused uh, kind of long delays in there. It's a really nice combo. Let's just bypass the multi-tap delays for now and let's add some plex delays because the plex delay in a similar manner to the multi-tap delay got a bunch of love and we're gonna add two plex delays to get started just because, you know, just because we can. So what you'll notice, I'm gonna do the old mix at 100 Mute effects in on both of these. In fact, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna go edit. I'm gonna copy this block so that I can paste it down here easily. Uh, and let's just bring, uh, we won't play around with input gain just yet. We'll take a look at the types. So look at all of this, 44 different types. You have the 
types that were previously there, like the Plex Delay, the Plex Detune, the Plex Shift, the Plex Reverb, and the Shimmer Reverb, but then you have essentially presets within these blocks based on all of those. So for example, if you want a uh, kind of cross between reverb and echo in the one preset, try out this echo hall preset. We get this, I'm gonna bring the input gain down to about 50 on it, check it out. <laughs> I might tweak the high cut in that one, bring it right down and bring the low cut up a little bit. And uh, that's a great all in one block. You know, if you just want to have a really simple preset, amp cab, plex delay, the plex delay is going to bring you some echoes and some reverbs in there. Let's hear this. <laughs> That is killer. And let's go back to the clean sound. I'll bypass these multi-tap delay blocks. And uh, let's use the second plex delay block over here for something like this subtone shimmer. So if you look at the pitch, you've got some octave down for a shimmer instead of an octave up. Uh, let's just hear this. <laughs> Then you've got really intense sparkly shimmer reverbs like this scintillation preset. I really like this one with swells. And then let's look at a combo of something like that. Uh, scintillation, maybe we use a different one, like, ooh, what's a good one? Let's use this golden shimmer, and we'll use that together with, uh, let's use this occult verb number one. I'll crank the input gain up, it's already done that for me. So these two together for a really beautiful ambient thing. And we haven't even touched on the shimmer reverbs in the reverb block or any of the mega tap stuff yet. So uh, let's just play around with some of that. And then maybe I can add shimmer reverb from the reverb block on top of it and go full Brian Eno mode. <laughs> I've covered this in a previous video, but there are pitched reverbs in the reverb block now as well. So you have all those multi-tap types, all those flanger types, new reverbs, new plex delay types on there. I've just kind of skimmed the surface with a lot of these. Uh, the mega tap block also 
has had an update and has some really fantastic sounding stuff in there. Uh, some of my favorites, let's go back to the Mark IV. I'll just replace this reverb with a Megatap block. I looked at how you can bloom reverbs in one of my past videos using the Megatap. Uh, where is it? Here it is. But uh, you have fun stuff like this, like the gated reverb, which will be under G for gated right there. And uh, basically, I like to actually increase the diffusion on this a little bit, but you play around with the delay time, and that is going to be like the length of your gated verb on there. It sounds great for thickening up rhythm guitar. <laughs> Awesome, right? You get that iconic gated reverb sound. I actually kind of like combining that with one of the new Plex types, which is called Detune Space 2. Bring the input gain right down on this. And what this kind of mimics to me is something like an old Roland or Yamaha rack mount reverb where maybe it wasn't super accurate, but it had character. So we'll hear that, and then we'll hear it with a gated verb. <laughs> So that's pretty fun. Let's hear it with gated reverb out. And I like that the gated reverb kind of thickens up the initial part of the decay, then it drops off and you have uh, the, I guess, more subtle reverb coming from this plex delay block in there. Of course, uh, we could thicken that up even more. Let's uh, maybe go on the multi-tap delay. Let's add the 1210 mode and let's bring the mix up and the bypass mode to mute effects in. I'll bring the input gain down a bit. So this is going to provide some just kind of widening. Let's have a listen to that. <laughs> Pretty cool, pretty cool. And then in the multi-tap delay, let's roll with maybe that uh, circular delays effect type. PCM circular, actually, let's do a different one. Let's do the left center, right center delay. And what I will do is I will set the input gain uh, down to around 40%. I like this one kind of a little bit more wet. So we're kind of building up this ultimate solo tone at the moment. Uh, preamp, I'm gonna turn the input boost and the fat switch on for these now, just because that's a thing that I like. And then we'll add a flanger. is way, way over the top. Uh, one way to mitigate that is, you know, we'll bring the mix down on the gated reverb. We'll just go a lot easier with all the effects on this. I'm using the input gain in the parallel blocks rather than the mix. And uh, yeah, just going a little bit more subtle with all of this gets you something that's still ridiculous, but not quite as ridiculous. <laughs> That's going to be me for the rest of the afternoon here anyway. I hope you enjoyed this very brief little tour of some of the new effect types. If you have any other questions or comments, let me know in the comments section. You can grab the new firmware by just opening up FractalBot inside Axe Edit and doing the auto update. If you want to support the channel, there's links in the video description. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. See you next time. And thanks for watching.